To get started, you're going to need a plastic bag, a paper towel, watercolors, a paintbrush, and a cup of water. All right, so to get started, I didn't really know how exactly to approach this uh, project. I tried a few different techniques and I'll walk you through what I did. So first I took some watercolor and I just placed it on my paper towel. It didn't create the effect I wanted, so I went back with some water and added that on top of the paint. That helped it to spread out a little bit more. This made me think, okay, well then maybe I can do like a wet on wet technique. I can add water to my paper towel before I put the paint on. So I tried that out. When I added the paint on top, it didn't really blend out or fade out like I was hoping it would. Eventually I just learned to go back and forth with the water and the paint until I got the desired blurred effect that I was wanting. So I suggest you just play around with it. If you have liquid watercolors, you don't need water. You can just use the liquid watercolor and put it straight onto the paper towel with your brush. And that should give you the effect that I was trying to go for, which was a sort of blurred, smudged look. But if you have regular watercolors, this will still work. Um, you just may have to go back and forth with your water and then your watercolor to get a blurred effect. All right, I hope you enjoyed doing this project with me and that you made something very interesting and I'll see you later.